Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Rishabh Kumar Rao, a final year BTEC CSC student at VIT Chennai. In this video, I will guide you which laptop you should buy if you have budget from 35,000 to up to 1 lakh. I have covered every potential game changer laptop from notebook to gaming laptop and even MacBook. So please watch this video till the end. When you see Intel i3, i5, i7 or Ryzen 3, 5, 7, don't just stop there. Check the letter after the CPU, which can be HX, HS, P and U. So let me explain you one by one. So the U series laptop are the ultra low power laptop. They are designed to be lightweight. So they have a smaller battery and they are not performance centric. So don't expect a high performance from U series laptop. Then we have P series laptop, which is uh, above you. Then we have H series, HS series and HX series. So currently except U series, you can get any laptop you want according to your budget. So for CSC and EC student, I will uh, suggest please go at least H series if your budget allow else P series also work fine. So the second aspect while choosing your laptop should be RAM minimum 8 GB RAM should be there. But currently all the software are getting heavier and heavier and you have to think that when you are buying the laptop, we have to use it at least four to five years. So with that in mind, I will suggest you to go with 16 GB RAM if possible. And like if you're into ML, Android or VM, then 16 GB is must. But if currently your budget do not allow to go for 16 GB RAM, you can still go with 8 GB RAM, but you have to make sure that your laptop has an RAM expandable slot available. If it is there, then it's okay to go with 8 GB RAM and later you can upgrade your RAM. Similarly, for the SSG part, go with 512 GB and please try to get NVMe SSG only, not that SATE one, which is very old and very slow. And if you are into machine learning, blending, games, then you need a dedicated GPU as well. So without any further delay, let's go into the real laptop and I will show you the list of the laptop you should buy. So the first laptop in the list is Acer Aspire Lite, which you can get as low as 32,000. Currently the price is 36,000. Let me tell you the pros and cons. The pros are it has Ryzen 5, 16 GB of RAM, 512 GB of NVMe SSG. It has 180 degree rotation, backlight keyboard, USB type C and Wi-Fi 6. Coming to the cons, since it's very low budget laptop, we will get Q series, which I have tell you to avoid it. Along with it has only 36 watt hour of battery, which you will get around 6 to 7 hour max. And um, the brightness is also less. So if your budget is less, then you can check it out. But I won't recommend this laptop. So the second laptop which we has is Lenovo IdeaPad 1, which has the same processor as the previous laptop. Compared to this, this is ultra thin and has full HD screen. The cons are the same like you processor. Honestly, I won't recommend this laptop or this laptop until your financial condition is extremely bad. I will suggest wait, gain some money and then invest in a good laptop. So this is also the same. I won't recommend. Let's go to the good laptop. So this is the good laptop which you can get under 50k. Here we have a 1000 coupon also. So this is Lenovo V14. So coming to the pro, it has i7 Intel. So coming to the pro, it has i7 processor with 12th gen 10 core. And it has full HD screen IPS panel. It has good thermal. And con is we don't have an external SSG slot, but that's okay. And RAM is soldered on the unit, so you cannot upgrade your RAM and no dedicated GPU. So this laptop justify its price. If you get this, your uh, engineering BTEC degree will be completed with this laptop. You won't face much issue issue because this is a very good laptop. Then if you increase your budget a little bit, you will get a better laptop, which is again Lenovo. It will cost you around 49K. Unlike that, it has H series, so it has better performance than the previous laptop and more or less the same space specification as the previous one. 
then increase the budget you will asus if you are asus fan you can go with this vivo book it has very high gpu and ssd unit it has backlight keyboard with 60 fps uh, 60 hertz display and the cons are the brightness is slow only to 15 minutes so in the daytime it may cause an issue and no gpu so now coming to samsung galaxy book 4 it has 12 gb of ram with 512 ssd 15 in screen i5 processor 13 but it has u series getting u series at 50 key is little unobvious but still it has LAN port erase and all so she like there's not very much difference in u p h processor but it's always advisable to take p or h processor unless the specification are extremely high if you want a good laptop with good graphics better thermals and good performance you should definitely check out this it has i5 12 gen processor with h series so the performance will be top notch we have a uh, graphics card ram ssg 144 hertz this uh, refresh rate so you can definitely get a, you can definitely expect a good performance with this laptop and the cons is only heavy for student 1.8 kg but it's okay in the school we used to take 4 5 kg in our bag so now coming to the next laptop we have hp victors it has ryzen 5 and again h series laptop with 16 gb of ram and 512 ssg 144 hertz so every laptop you can see little little function is uh, is adding so the price is also increasing the only con is screen and build feel average yeah okay yeah. only pavilion feel premium and battery thermal not standard and machine learning okay. so coming to the next laptop we have lenovo 224 12th gen intel core hc hx series so this is even faster than h series laptop 144 hertz same 24 gb oh my god and that's rgb this is uh your like display quality true tone or something uh 2.4 kg i won't recommend this at all just for the weight but the uh, specification is top notch if you're see in the vit we don't need to carry laptop to the classroom so if you're okay with the weight you can definitely check this out i have only taken my laptop to the classroom i think only four to five times in my whole btech journey because only one percent of the teacher may ask you to give quiz that's why it, it can be needed in the classroom whereas it won't be needed laptop then we have a Acer nitro here from okay so from 77000 we got ryzen 7 series which is hx processor which is good octago this and same 2.1 kg is decent it it is on the heavier side but comparing to this 2.4 it's good then we have hp what is this victus only right yeah i5 h series 16 gb 80000 i think it's overpriced so now let's check out some gaming laptop so in the gaming laptop we have ss T tough gaming this is the most favorite laptop by vit student like you will find this laptop like from many people you will get this laptop because the specs are nice the look build is nice the pros are we have ryzen 7 hs series 8 core we have gpu rtx 4050 i think yeah 4050 with 140 watt tgp 3d blending okay so this laptop is really nice we have big battery 90 watt hour so this is very very huge and the cons would be weight 2.2 kg is it not very heavy an average keyboard yeah premium feel that is its personal choice so if you want a gaming laptop you should check out ss tough gaming here you will find a variant no okay rtx 4050 just upgrade and then second we have msi laptop i think few people know this brand this brand is really like this brand is also nice the specs are like if you want ryzen series you can go with ss you want intel only you can go with msi i7 core 713 gen 1tb ssg oh my god this laptop is a beast the con would be thicker yeah it's looking thicker and bezels are thick yeah 
बैटरी लाइफ नॉट बेस्ट इन क्लास सो नेक्स्ट लैपटॉप इज लेनोवो एलो क्यू दिस आई वॉन्ट रिकमेंड यू टू स्पेंड दैट मच अमाउंट ऑन ए विंडोज लैपटॉप यू कैन गेट अ गुड मैक बुक विद दिस प्राइस सो इफ यू आर अ हार्ड कोर विंडो यूजर देन यू कैन गो विथ इट एल्स पास इट ना लेट्स कम टू द मैक बुक सो द चीपेस्ट मैक बुक यू कैन गेट इज मैक बुक एम वन which you can get as low as 52000 you are getting a new mac at 52000 but i won't recommend m1 at this point because this laptop is already 4 to 5 year of 5 year old and in the btech you need 4 more years so this laptop will be 9 year old so i don't think in the coming year it will be competitive and you need to buy a new laptop so you can skip m1 and for the m2 you are getting a 77000 my laptop like which i am recording and using is m2 the same model and you are getting is around 78000 so this is very value for money macbook m2 m3 was also with the same price but i don't know they have increased the price of m3 like m3 is showing 1 lakh 10000 and m4 is showing 94000 like m4 is getting cheaper than m3 so like if you can get m3 uh, in closer range to the m2 then go with m3 and the best will be m4 if you can afford but till now i have not faced any issue with my m2 macbook air so if your budget is tight and you want a entry level macbook then go with m2 uh, people complain about the slower ssg one that i will tell you like the ssg issue is if you transfer data very frequently so like i record in my phone then i connect a cable then transfer to the laptop then i edit it then again transfer to phone so if you do very much transferring then m2 ssd will might feel you slow still it five time faster than a 50 60k windows laptop but still according to the apple level it will feel you slow only transferring file or exporting file so that's not a tie breaker or very uh, hard deal so if you're okay with it you can go with m2 air m3 is showing very high price if you can get it under 80000 then go with m3 and m4 introductory price was itself 1 lakh so you can get it at 95000 and one more thing you will ask like how you are getting this high low price and all so i will show you the extension which is this price history i will give the link in the description so you can add to your browser then you can see price of every item which you will open so that's it i know i have confused you a lot but whatever laptop i picked are from the best pick So you can definitely see your budget and can choose among this laptop. I'm feeling very garmi because I don't have fan. Like it, uh, it, it got, like it got breakdown. So that's all. Now you know which laptop you should pick based on your budget and requirement. All the laptop I mentioned are very great for the college, whether you're doing CSC, EC, IT, or even non-CSC field. And one more thing I would like to tell is about student discount. So currently, if you have a older laptop with you, then please carry the same laptop to the college. Use it. then you can decide whether you are lagging behind like if you are lagging very behind then you have to invest in a bigger amount if that old laptop is also working fine then no need to buy a new laptop and have word in or your parents money as student what is student discount so basically the student discount is for apple hp lenovo like every company you can get student discount but not on amazon not on flipkart only on their official website So you can find the student discount of the Apple, of HP, of Lenovo on their specific website. Here you can browse Lenovo. You write on the Google Lenovo student discount laptop. This website will open, and this all laptop are eligible for student discount. You might get some more percentage off, but more or less student discount are not that much beneficial because if you Like suppose they are uh, the MRP is eighty thousand, so they will give student discount of five percent on this eighty thousand. But it might happen that in the Amazon the price is already seventy thousand. So even with the student discount, sometimes it's not very much pocket friendly. So you have to cross check it. Only student discount helpful is for so Apple. Just for the reference, I'm taking example of the MacBook Air M four. Here you can see you are getting it around one lakh without student discount. 
of the 16 gb 256 gb macbook m4 where is the chip so where is the chip m4 yeah and with the student discount you are getting it around 90,000 so 10k benefit plus you are getting airpod free which is worth of 18,000 so you have to pay just the macbook price and not only airpod you can select anything you want with the list airpod 4 airpod 2 only one item magic mouse trackpad and all so the uh, according to me the only valuable student discount a laptop uh, a company can give is apple rest give only like decent student discount so if you want student discount then wait go to the college get your id card apply for the student discount then get the discount so yeah that's all about laptop in my time i think only five to six laptop used to be there in a particular price bracket like 30 to 40k 40 to 50k but now even for 10k bracket different 10 15 of laptop are there and everything is similar just uh, screen size will increase ram will increase processor ddr3 ddr4 something will increase and new new models are becoming so it's very confusing to see which laptop is like you cannot tell a name of the laptop which is best for all the expect it will if it is under 50k it will lag one or two feature if it is under 70k it can lag one feature it's obvious that the more costly the laptop is the better specs it will get but still i won't advise you to go to the extreme and burden your parents money please spend your money wisely you are going to the college you have already invested a lot of amount so in the first year the subject are very basic so you don't need a high end laptop even three four year old window laptop will work but from second year your subject might get tricky so you need a good laptop so if you have old laptop keep it up keep that same box with you machine box with you and after coming to the college get student id card and then you will aware of the more laptop and new new laptop are launching also so yeah that's all about the video i am making video after so long so i have forgotten my like fluency and all so sorry for that and thanks for watching this video i will see you next time